Hello everybody. Right about now is not a brilliant time to be selling a car. However, when things like this happen, that means that people are all the more keen to focus all their time and effort on the car they already own. And that can often take in the time out to make those small little improvements that have been bugging you for quite some time, but you've never really got round to. So with everybody, well in the UK at least, having a little bit more time on their hands, I got a very well-timed email from the people at Carly. Now, if you don't know Carly, they are a company that provides solutions for communicating with and coding different cars. Now, they work with quite a few different brands, but I've always considered them to be the sort of BMW people. We're here today in my brother-in-law's 2017 BMW M140i, which we've just been doing some filming with, and that's the car that we're going to use as our test bed for the product that they have sent me. Now, they will also support VW, Audi, Seat, Skoda, Toyota, Mercedes, Renault, and Porsche, but their bread and butter really is BMW, and that's the solution that they can do a lot of coding with. Some of the other cars, you're going to need to do basic diagnostic stuff, but the BM is a pretty powerful thing. Now, there's two parts to the Carly system. Uh, part one is the nifty little adapter, which comes in a very cute little box, very well packaged. I have to say, I'm, I'm a real tart, which people that view the channel will know, and... Uh, Honestly, I, I, I just didn't review there. I'm quite happy playing around with that for absolutely ages. But those of you watching the video are going to be interested in knowing how this works and what it can do. It can't work miracles, but it can do sort of minor magic. Now, the, the logistics of it is actually pretty simple, really. I take this and you plug it into your car's OBD2 port. Done. And then in most vehicles, they run better with the engine on. So you do that. And then in your phone, you open the app. We have here the Carly app. And you tell it what car you've got. You then hit the connect button. It'll open it up. It scans your car and then you're right away. So you can see on the main menu here, a few different things. On the left, you've got diagnostics. You've got a mileage fraud check. You've got start stop, which is its recommended coding. And then you've got everything else on the right. There's a couple of different versions of the app. I have the full version here. I'm also going to turn down the AC because I don't know about my camera lady, but I am roasting. So first things first, let's just check that the car is healthy. So we're going to go into the diagnostics. One of the important things about Carly as well is once you start getting into the coding, it will allow you to create backups of what you're doing. So you don't need to worry about breaking something in the car. If you do something it doesn't like, you can just recode it and reload the system software that you had before. So we're now going to run diagnostics on Andrew's car and just check that it's all okay. Or if it's not, what might need checking? Now, I do know that this car might flag a couple of things because its sat-nav module is currently missing, but we shall see if anything else is raised. If you're selling a car or indeed buying a car, a piece of software like this is very handy because it's going to give you a pretty good idea pretty quickly of the state of health that the vehicle is in because not all issues will throw a warning light on the dashboard. I find Carly to be a little bit more in-depth and useful than your basic 25 quid eBay code reader as well because those will simply give you pretty basic information whereas Carly is going to give you a more detailed and in-depth analysis of what's going on. So that's diagnostics completed, and it's come up with a, a grand total of 70-something uh, issues. Okay, so as suspected, there are a few issues that are relating to the fact that it's... Um, there we go, some emergency stuff, infotainment, so basic things here, some circuits triggered, microphone connection issues. So, and there's a steering issue, so... What it looks like here, you can see a lot of under voltage errors, which probably tells you that at some point in time, this car's battery went low or dead or, or something like that. Let's have a look in the engine. Uh, there you go, so there's uh, exhaust valve issues because this car did have a heavily modified exhaust valve on it. So that's not really a surprise there. So there's just a, a few different things in there talking about the car. So nothing really that major to worry about. There you go, again, just basic different areas and things and it's interesting that this will give you really detailed info far beyond what any regular code reader would so what i'm going to do is i'm going to clear those issues now for andrew because then if they come back you know there's something that might be worth looking into but if they don't they're not really worth worrying about 
So that's the diagnostic side of Carla. There's also quite a few other things you can do. For example, you can get live data and for that you can choose from a huge number of different parameters, which are going to be very helpful if you're trying to perform your own kind of diagnostics as well. But the bit about Carly, which is what most people are interested in, is the coding side of things. Now, to get that running, you simply go into the coding screen. And the great thing about this software is that it is so simple, even I can use it. Because although I know that I do YouTube and technology and stuff for a living, I am actually quite simple when it comes to phone. Anyone that knows me will tell you that I only ever replace my mobile phone when it breaks. I know nothing about them otherwise, so I'm really not the most technical person. There's one reason I'm not very good at Instagram and stuff like that, but this is very easy to use. Now, I have been speeding some of this process up. A few of these screens do take a minute or so to do their own thing, but you don't really want to be sitting here in silence with me, do you? So. The app talks to the car via the little Bluetooth module and it tells me here that there are nine different ECUs that it can talk to and then code. So you have the dashboard, heads up display, instrument cluster, then you've got stuff that relating to what the FEM module they call it, so lights, engine start, stop, you've got parking distance control, you've got crash safety module, I'm not going to touch that one, I'm not going to touch that one. Uh, I drive all sorts of different things and then you can tell the car to start in eco mode you can also control the active sound design that's the sound being piped into the car via the speakers and then also heating and air conditioning and so on and so forth so uh, let's look at uh, one of the more interesting and unusual ones you can do which is changing the logo down here so that's i believe on this top one the combi thing there you go it tells you that it's talking okay and then here you go so just earlier i was having a bit of a dummy run with this and it made a backup so you read the car and it will save the software that was set, save all your settings. So if, if something does go completely wrong, you can then replace it and put it back how it was, which is, which is fantastic and I think kind of essential. So every time you go into the software, it creates a current backup so you can get back to where you were. Very handy. So here we go. You can have a digital speedometer, which is very nice. I'm going to enable that for Andrew because there's no reason he would want that. Now here, this one, correction speed. This is really interesting. So by default, the car actually displays a speed a little bit higher than what you're really doing. And you can tell it to have your true speed on there. You can also tell it whether you want the date on the dashboard, all sorts of different stuff. So the boot logo for the dashboard. I'm, I'm going to change this from the 140i to the M Performance. And I believe it's related to the little logo that is down there. So I'm going to put M Performance on there for him. Because that's also something that we can see very clearly. The reverse gear gong, which I believe is a, is a Japanese market thing. So it'll it'll go bong, bong, bong. Uh, somewhere in here as well, apparently. You can then tell the car to go bong in the same fashion as a Rolls Royce. Although I'm not sure which uh, bit that is under or whether you can do it in a one series you can do various things for the sport display cruise control if you've got a heads-up display in the car which this one doesn't there are a lot of different things you can change so we've done some basic stuff there so let's just show you how that works gives you a bit of a warning there tells you basically don't turn the car off or pull things out while you're doing this because that will cause trouble hit okay carly does its thing this bit doesn't take too long about a minute or so and I can tell you that the uh, digital speedometer has now appeared as an option in the board computer. Remember how I told you about being able to change the, uh, the sound of the bongs and things? Well, that is in the menu that they call NBT. And you have a choice here, warning menu and sounds. You can choose BMW, Mini, BMW i, Rolls-Royce, or Toyota Supra 2019. I wonder what Rolls-Royce does. Let's just try that, shall we? I mean, I... I what does a Rolls Royce bong sound like? Because I, I don't know. I'm kind of worried now. I imagine rather than going bong, it's going to go, you rang, my lad. I mean, if it doesn't, I'm going to be very disappointed. Or the sound of ancient doors creaking and, you know, bells going dong. Maybe it's Big Ben. Ooh. So, Carly tells me coding was successful. Got to turn the engine off and on, and then we're going to find out what it sounds like now. Ooh, very dignified. I think I'm going to leave that on for Andrew because that's much less irritating than the uh, the BMW bong. So, so there we have it. There's a couple of basic things you can do with Carly. Uh, big shout out and thank you to them for obviously sponsoring today's video because right about now it makes a big difference to people like myself. If you want to check them out, 
Details are going to be in the description down below. You can download the app for free, then you've got to buy the adapter, use it. There is no linking of the adapter to a specific car, so once you've got it, you can use it on as many cars as you like. So if you're a bit of a collector, or you've got a bunch of mates with BMWs, it's well worth investing in. Go check them out. Thanks to them again. Thanks to you for watching. See you for the next one. Bye-bye.